Every shot of an 11 handicappers round starts now here at Chesant Park Golf Centre. Starting off here on a par five, I'm going to be giving you the red tee box distances today because the mats were pretty close to them on most of the holes. This is 459 yards long and it is SI6. Oh dear, snapped it left. <gasps> Interesting. How far are we? Right, realistically, we want to advance this ball at least 100 yards. Bum up against the tree, why not? Good start to the round, isn't it? Yeah, I hit the back, that tree on the backswing so badly there. Oh no, is that broken? No, it's not broken, we've just got a huge gouge mark in it. All right, uh, not the approach in we wanted on this par five. We've got 188 yards into the flag here. I'm going to take four iron. Oh, didn't quite get a hold of it. Um, it's probably got about 150. Uh, let's try and get up and down for a par. Now we're here today because one of the first videos I ever did on this channel was me playing this course during the summer. Obviously conditions were a lot better and I played really well that day for how I was playing at the time. I ended up going 15 over shooting an 86. So the target today is B86, but if we want to shoot our handicap, we're going to need to shoot an 82. Bless Chesant Park. I mean, it is a pay and play guys. Um, it's where I actually learned to play golf. Um, but during the winter months, they don't get the mower to it too often, I won't lie. So this is fairway, despite the fact it looks like rough. Okay, we've got 90 in. Sit. I think I've got the wrong distance there. I think I've got the wrong distance big time. I've shot the back of the green there because it was only 50 away and I didn't check because I've just been let to play through. Disaster. Let's see what we can do here, eh? Oh, I've bladed it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, this for a six. Oh, it's so close. All right, it's a double. It's not a good start. Let's put it that way. Next up, we got a 302 yard par four. You can see that we got a big pond right in front of the hole, so that needs to be avoided. Not a long par four. Um, we just need to hit this about 200 maximum. So I've got four iron. Don't think I'll be going much further than that today. Oh, that is so bad. Hold on. Oh, I see it down. That's We're off to a shocker here. <laughs> okay, not ideal. Um, I can't even show you guys because it's so deep in this woods where this one's going to go. So just going to try and give it the old chipper, chipperoo, get it out. Hopefully far enough across it leaves us an unobscured shot in. Um, that went badly. All right, well, let's not make any more mistakes with distances today. All right, we have got 125 into the pin. Uh, it's at the back though, so I'm gonna take pitching wedge. I don't think it's gonna get there. Not got the greatest of lies. I don't think it's on the green. I think it's left of it. I know, it's just on the fringe, not awful. Now we've had an absolute downpour over the last couple of days, so the course is very, very wet. But we're due more rain tomorrow and for the rest of the week, so I had to get out today to film something for you guys. It's not a long course, so there's plenty of chances for us to get birdies, but we're going to have to start swinging it slightly better if we're going to want that to happen. OK, this is a chip four par. Um, obviously, we're just trying to make up and down here to get in with just a bogey and no more damage. Oof, a little bit past it. All right, it's going to be one of them starts. We're four over through two, but there is a serious amount of golf to play. I'm not too worried. I'll tell you how swingy golf is. Yesterday I shot my personal best. I shot six over a 78 on a par 72. I actually played two rounds yesterday and I shot 90 in the first. That's a 12 stroke difference between the two rounds. And there was like an hour and a half between the two. I actually went around the front nine in minus one. Like that's the first time I've ever been under par through nine holes. So, and has anything changed for about my swing? Probably not, other than I just got out of the car and didn't bother warming up. But let's see if we can make something happen on this par three. Next up, a relatively long par three, 190 yards. It is SI11. This par three is 165 yards into win. I've got five iron to try and make sure that we get there. Oh, it's turned a little bit off the left. Don't go in the bunker. Oh no, we're on. I think we're pin eye. 20 foot for my birdie here. 
Let's see if I can knock this one in. Oh, and I've given it way too many beans. Oh no. <laughs> Good stuff, right, we make a par. This has been a hard start, I won't lie. Next up, we have a 343-yard SI8 par 4. It's called Blasted Oak because it's got a damn big oak tree in the middle of the fairway. Got to be avoided. This next hole is called Blasted Oak for a damn good reason because that tree on the right-hand side is a big oak tree and it's blasted. I'm just going to hit four iron down there. I'm not going to think too much about this. I'm going to say that's one of our first good strikes of the day. We are behind the oak tree though, so that might make this next shot challenging. Pin is back left tucked up against the fringe and it's 135 yards away. So I'm going to hit pitching wedge because I don't really want to go long. I'd rather have a longer uphill putt. All right, lift clean in place, that's for sure. That ball is absolutely caked. That could be really good. Don't know if it's got the distance, to be honest. Oh my God, it's gone long. My pitching wedge has just gone 140 yards. How has that just happened? Maybe even longer, because it says it's 145 to the back edge. <laughs> We're having a day, guys. We're having a day right now. Oh, there it is. Right, I thought it had gone really long because it disappeared. But the real reason is it didn't bounce because it is plugged. It is literally an inch beneath the surface of the earth. <laughs> so we obviously get free relief from that. That's got a roll. Just keep going. Give me a chance. Hey, listen, it's a sunny day. We've got like six days of rain coming, so just got to enjoy this while I can. Should break off the uh, right quite a bit here. Oh my God, Tom. Oh no, it's not too bad. I thought I'd run that about a mile past. There we go. We are currently five over through four holes. We've got work to do. Next up, we have the second hardest hole on the course. It is a 364 yard par four. Straight away, just got to be aware that there is a pond short right of the green. That'll play. Yep, straight in the middle of the fairway, happy days. I think we just need to be a little bit more careful with how we're uh, measuring stuff. That's 170 yards to the pin. But it's going to be a two club win because that pitching wedge went 150 downwind earlier where it should only go about 130. So we're going to take four iron here. I can't see it. Oh no, there's a water hazard there. Clear it. Unsure, might be in, might have cleared it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right on top of a molehill. I get free relief from that as well. Jesus, it's actually embedded in it as well. I don't think I could do much better there, to be honest. It's up. It's coming off the uh, right edge a little bit. It's uphill though. It's nice. I knew that was going in as well. I just had a. Sometimes those right to left putts just feel so automatic. Next up, we come to an extreme dog leg to the left. If you go too far forwards, you'll end up in the driving range. It's a 401 yard par four, and it's SI4. Um, got a four iron in hand. Severe dog leg to the left. Just going to try and. Hit it straight up there, maybe just on the left-hand side. Take a bit off the corner. Oh, do hopefully it doesn't go too long. I really caught that one. All right, we've got 208 yards to the pin here. Wind's coming off the right. We're getting no roll out, so I'm going to hit a hybrid. I've got to just get the ball out of the, the, the fairway first, though. There we go. Oh, he's absolutely caught it. It's drawing in there, probably overdrawn it a little bit. Not that it was intentional to try and draw it. I think it's out of the back of the green. Blimey. All right, not overly sure how I'm supposed to stop uh, the ball on a downhill, but, you know, the greens are quite wet, so maybe it will. I don't know. That could be really good. That might... I thought for a second there it might go in. I don't... That is a ridiculous chip from there. I'll take that. I do remember that last time I played here, I had to make a stupid amount of up and downs. Um, and it does feel like that is the way that it's going today as well. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, left to right slider. All right. It's another bogey. We need to get some pars and some birdies in this round or otherwise it's going to be a stinker. 
Short little par three here, 133 yards long, SI 17. All right, we've got 123 on this par three. I'm going to say with the wind coming off the left, it's going to be a perfect pitching wedge for me. And I've got a weird feeling about this. Oh, I pulled it so left. Yeah, funny feeling my ass. All right, got to remember that this has got to come out a little bit higher than I'm expecting, which is probably a good thing um, because I need it to stop quick. So just got to give it a little bit more than I would usually. The extra loft off this hill is going to definitely do some work. All right, just feel like that. Stop. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll take that. Quite like that line. That's about right. Oh, Jesus, guys, this is feeling like one of those days. I'm not going to lie. We're currently averaging about bogey a hole. We just need to pick it up, really. Hole number eight is a par four. It's 350 yards long and it is SI 13. Now, I could be that guy that complains about the course. It's wet. It's muddy, the fairways are long, we're playing off match, but it's winter and I paid £13 for the round on a hot deal. That's unbelievably good value, especially on a course this close to London. And this is the perfect course to go and learn how to play the game on because you're not going to be rushed by people. Most people are learners, including yours truly anyway. Let's see if we can smack this driver up there. Turn a little bit more, turn a little bit more. Clip the tree. All right, we've got 76 yards to the pin here. This is where we've got to try and score. We've got to try and make birdie here. We have got the limbs of this very spindly tree in front, but I'm not going to take any notice of it. I'm just going to go at it. Oh, I pulled it left a little bit. Damn it. It's on. That might just about be a GIR. Maybe we're on the fringe, who knows? All right, we've got 27 footer here. Or in. Oh, I just broke left. Stress-free par, we can't say we have many of them today, that's for sure. There we go. Nice. Heading back up towards the clubhouse on hole number nine, it's a 404 yard par four and it's SI10. So some clever cookies actually drilled a hole into the edge of the mat so you can get tees into it. Big up. Uh, love that from you because I can't get it into these like preset holes that are actually for like driving range rubber tees. Oh, that is very skinny, but hopefully it'll just run up there. Oh dear. All right, we've got about 210 yards into the pin here. Got three wood because it's uphill into wind. Well, that is a runner. I think we'll have about 50 yards in. Oh dear. All right, we've got 86 into a pretty stiff breeze. Uh, give the old ball a clean off. That looks pretty good on it all right there's a chance there's a chance we make par just slightly on the right edge i think here please go oh my god it wobbled all right it's a bogey we are eight over through nine holes um don't think i've scored that poorly in a long time but this is really what 11 handicap golf can look like guys it really can sometimes be really ugly We've now rounded the turn and we're on a par four. It's 365 yards long and it's SI3. I can't get it in. Oh dear, not the first time I've said that. All right, okay. Um, I am gonna hit three wood here. It just gets really narrow and tight up there. So there's just absolutely no need for me to hit driver. Oh, it's turning right. How's it turning right? Stay in play. It's in play. I don't know what our shot in will be like though. It looks like we might be in luck here. 156 downwind and it's at the back. Uh, I think I'm going to take an eight. Oh, that is, I think I've caught it a bit heavy. It's not in the bunker, it's just off to the right. It's not the most ideal of spots to be in, I won't lie. It's not awful though, it could be worse. Could be in my office working, you know. Run, oh my God, the greens are so soft. It's literally just gone and stopped straight away. 30 foot for par here. Realistically, just looking for another two putt. There's a chance. No, 
when am I ever going to make one from range ever again? Alright, it's a five. We have, however, started the back nine better than we started the front nine, so that's good. Next up, we have a 157-yard par three, three bunkers dotted at the front edge of it, so it's better to go slightly long. All right, this is quite a long one, I won't lie. I've got seven iron in hand for this one. Pin's right at the back. Let's see if we can hit a good shot. That feels pretty good. All right, I've got no idea. We'll have a look when we get up there. 45 foot uphill, wet, wet, wet green. That might be too hard. Hit the pin, go in. Oh no. Nothing is clicking at the moment. Another bogey, that's three parts like that. That's everything else I can handle, but three parts like that, I can't, I can't really, I can't really justify. Now this usually would be the hardest on the course, but because it's so short today, it's actually probably one of the easiest. It's a 398 yard par five. So we really got to try and score here. All right, here's the deal, guys. We are in a muddy cow field at this point. Um, we're on the map, mud all around. Tee box we usually play off on this par five is about 80 yards back there. I would hit driver, try and bomb it down there and give myself like 100 yards in. But unfortunately, there is a ditch, which is about 220, which is exactly my carry distance for driver. So I'm not gonna try that. I'm gonna hit hybrid. We'll still only, if we hit this right, we'll only have like 170 into a par five. So a real good opportunity to get on the green and then get a birdie. That is smoked. Yeah, cool, perfect. As expected, we have about 150 yards in here. That is mental. So pin is at the front of the green. I think that we might take a nine here. I want to really get this close, potentially get eagle. That is such a bad strike. Go on, wind, help it. Get it over the bunker. Oh my God, it's actually, it's actually almost got there. Just in case you're wondering how wet it is, <laughs> that is that approach shot. We will unplug that one from the earth, obviously. <laughs> I can hear the ground kind of like squelching. <laughs> Stop thinking about that. You can put it in, you dope. That is such a bad putt, go. I kind of got my putt stuck on the fringe. You know what, we need some positive reconfirmation here. I love this line. Finally, it's something that begins with B and it's not a bogey. Happy days. Next up, we have a 303 yard par four and it is SI 12. Score's getting a little bit more respectable. We're nine over through 12. Um, got a short par four here. It's dangerous to hit driver, but uh, I do love a bit of danger. No. Oh, I saw it bouncing. I'm excited to see that you cannot be an 11 handicapper comments. Come on for me, guys. Come for me. But this is what golf really looks like. This is what 11 handicap golf comments. You can have absolute shockers. You can have average rounds. You can have slightly above average rounds. That's just how it works. All right, we've got 95 to the pin. We've got to get up and over this tree. Going to hit a full 48. Oh, it's up and over. Go. All right, clip the tree and uh, it's uh, landed very short. 34 yards, it's like my favourite yardage. Go. All right, we are dancing. It's a good job that it's a sunny day because I don't think we'd make it in otherwise. We've got 21 foot here for a par. Let's give this a good roll. That is so hard, Tom. What are you doing? Oh no, it's not. I just, my read is so off. Yesterday it was just like automatic two putt on every single hole. It's so bizarre. And today I just cannot seem to get anything going. At least we didn't miss that. I thought I had for a second there. All right, it's a bogey. Next up, a straightaway par four is 341 yards and it is SI9. All right, that's a good drive. We'll take that. Tease. 
Freebies, we found some free teas, come on. Sorry for the dodgy camera work, guys. Um, the sun is setting and I mean, I can't do much more than what I'm doing. So apologies for that. If it's a little bit dark, I'll do my best to try and rectify that in the edit, but got 90 yards here. It's on the dance floor, I think. Yeah. We've got 33 foot here for birdie. Oh, it's going low. Ah, oh, right, okay, it is a par, thank God. A nice short par four here, it's 284 yards long. Can't really go for it though, as you do have a stream that runs along just in front of the green, so that has to be avoided. Last time I was here, guys, I hit five iron, and it was like so hard, the ground, that it went 200, I won't say I hit the, the five iron particularly well, but it went 250 yards. TikTok got so triggered, it was funny. But if you do want to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, I have all of those going on, so go check them out. And also subscribe while you're here. I'm gonna hit four iron, it's not gonna go even close to that. There's a water hazard once again at 220 yards, so I can't hit driver. Um, but the four iron should just leave us, if we hit it well, about 110 in. Uh, didn't hit it well, quite low on the face, but it's gonna work out. All right, we've got about 140 to the pin here. I'm gonna hit nine iron. Ignore the drone, giving its warning signal to say it's running out of battery. We got time to hit this before it runs out. That could be good. Ooh, hello. I think we're all right there. If it was a little bit dry, I'm pretty sure that would have spun back onto the green, but it's wet, so can't use that as an excuse. Oh, oh no, stop, 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 stop. Stress-free pars, we take them. Right, par, we like it. I think that's our first back-to-back -back pars all day. Come on. Coming towards the end here, we have a 353 yard par four, and it's usually SI5, but as you can see, they're doing some work on the green. We've definitely played the back nine a lot better than we played the front nine. I am about to go full danger mode here, because what we've got is we've got a layup area, which will leave us like 160 in, or if I can carry it 220 downwind over all of these trees, well, then we'll have a 90, 90 yard shot in. Um, and I want to go aggressive, I just fancy it. I don't know why, but I think you guys would like a bit of drama to finish off this video. So that's what we're going to try and do. I'm going to try and deliver. Oh, I've absolutely piped it. That is so good. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my God, I couldn't have hit that any better. That's definitely good. Right guys, development. I had no idea that they were doing work on this green. They've actually got a temporary one in front. I can see my ball. We are not far away from the pin, literally unofficially driving a par four green, which is pretty nice. <laughs> if we were going to the green that's over there, we'd only have 78 yards left, but the pin over here, that's only 17 yards away. So, I mean, <laughs> putting on that is, well, it's just, I don't think you can really. Run. Okay, I think we're about six foot away. They could have at least mowed just a little bit around the cup. I don't even know if you're supposed to putt on this. I'm going to because I don't really know the rule otherwise. I d I've got no idea what's gonna happen here. It's just like, it's so lumpy. <laughs> right, for birdie. Oh my God, you should have seen it. It literally, <laughs> all right. It's a par, we'll take that. Funny, oh, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know what to do with that situation, but we got it down in four, so there you go. Little diddy par three here. It's about 100 yards long, and it is the easiest on the course. Now, I don't do this very often. I'm gonna hit a full 54 at this. I don't really like full swinging wedges, but I just it just feels right. It feels right today. Has that got to go? Uh, I think it's on. I think we're putting. Shouldn't have full swung the 54. Didn't even nearly get there. 45 foot uphill. Holy smokes, what the hell? Have I misjudged that or something? Have I misread that? I've just clotted it. It's gone miles. 
Oh, if I'd hit it, it was in. Ay, ay, ay. All right. It's a bogey. I believe we're currently only 11 over. After that start, we'll take that all day long. Finishing off with a long par five here, 456 yards. It's SI7 all the way back up to the clubhouse with a pond right of the green. All right, guys, here's the deal. If we make par here, we shoot our handicap unbelievably. Par five, wind interface. Let's just give this a rip. It's not great. Bit toey, barely made contact, but we should have a shot in from there. All right, that drive was not particularly good, so we've got to lay up here because there's a pond on the right of this hole with 250 odd yards away, so never making it in two. So just gonna hit seven iron here, just get it back out into the fairway, give myself a decent approach distance. Oh my God, what the f We're in danger here. So how can I assess today's round of golf? Driving, poor, except for that one awesome drive where we almost drove that temporary green. Approach plate, not particularly good. I don't think we hit many GIRs. Chipping was okay. We put ourselves in with a chance of getting up and down most of the time, but like, you know, from 10 foot rather than from, you know, inside five. Putting was pretty average, a couple of three putts in there. But what we can say without a shadow of a doubt is that we have not given in. We have not surrendered to this course today. After a dreadful start, the spirits and the vibe stayed high throughout the round. And because of that, we have managed to stick around and potentially shoot our handicap, which is pretty good. You wanted an exciting finale? Here we go. Right, we have got trees blocking our approach. We are 100 away. I can't get up and over those trees, not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to cut round these trees. There's bunk on the left, flag is at the front, 100 yards away. Got eight iron, obviously not gonna full swing this or otherwise we'd be gone. Uh, gonna aim at the bunker and open up the face. So that is me aiming at the bunker. Open up the face a bit, and we're trying to cut across this ball. And we're also not trying to hit it full either, because otherwise it'll go a mile. Um, I, um, I bladed it. So now we just need to make it up and down for about 30 yards. Oh my God, it might actually go in. Okay, no, it's short. I did catch it fat. At the start, it didn't look like we would break our record of last time's round, but we've well and truly smashed that. So it's gonna be a PV for this course. Question is, can we make this 12 foot putt for par? No, we've missed it. There we go, it's over. 12 over is our final score, guys. We shot an 83, which ain't too bad. Score differential is now on the screen for you. And if you'd like to see another video, well then just click right here.